Hi everybody, it's uh, Andy Thibodeau, and I want to demonstrate one of my favorite icebreakers that I learned uh, many years ago down in the United States. It's called Fast Fingers. Fast Fingers. What you do is you call up a partner, so I'm going to call up my partner here, and you're going to ask people to partner up. As the leader, demonstrating the game, pull up a volunteer like I have, and say to the people, okay, this is how we play the game. You're gonna put your hand behind your back. On the count of three. One, two, three. On the count of three, pull out both hands. Show a minimum of one finger or a maximum of 10. If you have more than 10 fingers, that's an advantage over other people. Minimum of one, maximum of 10 fingers. The first person out of the two of us to yell out the total number of fingers shown wins that round. So if I show five, you show four. First person yell out nine, wins. Here are the rules, and then we'll do a best out of three. Rule number one, no zeros. Tell the players no zeros. Minimum of one. Can one hand be zero? Absolutely, but the other hand has got to show at least one finger or a thumb. Yes, thumbs do count. Two, um, don't change your mind. When working with younger kids, you know, 10 year olds, 11 year olds, sometimes they're like, or tell them no, no. You come up with two, just come up with four, stick with four. Uh, three, no other hand movements like uh, shaking your hand around or going Wolverine, just straight bang, straight bang, straight bang. Um, two hints on how to win. Tell your group hint number one, the first number that is yelled out is often wrong, so don't quit too early. Don't go uh, six and then pull away. I see that way too often. Hold your fingers in place and make sure it's correct. Uh, six, no, seven, yes, yeah, seven, 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 seven. Tell them to hold in place. And two, be crafty. Tell the players, yes, that's four, but you want to win based on speed. So try to do unique finger combinations that might momentarily mess people up, like that's four, or that's four or that's four, or that's four, all right? So we're gonna do best out of three so you get a feel for the speed. That's how, how you'll demonstrate it to your uh, group, and then you'll get encouraged them to play. Are you ready? So you say to the demonstrate your uh, friend on stage, show a minimum of one finger or a maximum of 10. You wanna yell out the total number of fingers for me. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three. Ten. Ten. All right, so four plus six, ten. One, two, three. Seven. Eight. Eight. Eight, it is eight. All right, here we go. Best out of three. One, two, three. Eleven. All right. That game is called Fast Fingers. Then you let the group do it. Have them do a best out of five. After they do a best out of five, give them the one huge hint. The teachable moment. The teachable moment, tell the group, don't surprise yourself. Why I'm good at it and have learned to be good at it over the years was an insight I would give when I learned this in the United States many years ago, and that was come out knowing what you have, then add the fingers. But don't give away that teachable moment until they do a best out of five. Then encourage the group to do a best out of three and see if they play better. Thank you so much and enjoy the game.